All right. So thanks again for tuning in. I have my main man, Bill Toons Jr. Uh, on with us today. Uh, Bill has uh, uh, become a good friend of mine. He's also uh, an entrepreneur here in the city of Milwaukee. So without any further ado, uh, let's bring uh, Bill uh, on. Bill, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, today, I wish I had the applause thing I can put on the background, you know, for the edit, but, uh, you know, I really appreciate this. Um, could you give us your first and last name again? Uh, it's Bill Toombs, actually. Bill Toombs Jr. Bill Toombs Jr. That's excellent, man. And, and, uh, and Bill, you born here in the city of Milwaukee? I was born and, born and raised for the most part right here in Milwaukee. That's what's up. What part exactly? Uh, the north side. North side came up around, uh, 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 Mill Road, where we used to catch the bus out to May, uh, Northridge Mall all the time out there back in yeah. the day. Yeah, yeah, these young people and it's so some of the even some of the adults that that tune into these videos, they don't know nothing about Northridge. Yeah, they don't know about <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time, man. Yeah, it was. It really was. Um, okay, that's beautiful, bro. So grew up around um, uh, North uh, North Side, and that's far north. We're talking about Mill Road. Uh, yeah. area, the whole um, following uh, uh, there grew up in that area. What middle school did you attend? Did you attend middle school? Uh, I went to uh, I went to Morris Middle School. Actually, I went to Bur Burroughs for a short period of time, and then uh, ended up getting into Morris and transferred over there. So fantastic, fantastic. And what was that experience like? I mean, did you play any sports, extracurricular activities, anything that sticks out about that experience? Uh, you know, around that time, I, w I was playing a lot of sports, uh, not for, um, the teams per se, but I was, you know, I was right by, uh, uh, Clover Nook. I'm not sure if you heard of Clover Nook, but yeah, I play, I was there uh, daily. We was hooping and doing all types of stuff. And, uh, but yeah, I, I was more of the, the out of, outside of school, uh, ball player. And, you know, we did, Football, all types of stuff at that park. So, so staying active. That's a county park, right? It is a county park. Yeah, yeah. It was uh for the longest the uh, the leagues was held up. The basketball leagues was held up there, um, and then you know just things changed. It got crazy, and they shut it down. But um, yeah, for the longest, the, the all the all the parks uh, would meet there to host the league, the 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 summer league there. Oh wow, wow. Warner was that Warner? No, it was uh, so Warner was at Warner Park, but Warner would come in hoop at Clovernook too. So okay. we would we end up being at Clovernook, but then it left from Clovernook, and I think it went to Warner or a few other parks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. excellent, man. Okay, so that that's cool, man. Then you know after grade school, middle school, uh, uh, you wind up because because uh, that school Moore's went up to eighth grade, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you wind up going um, where in high school? I went to a tech, Milwaukee yeah. Tech, the old tech. Yeah. So now tech is uh Brad is Bradley Tech. Yeah. Um, but you know, prior to Bradley was just Milwaukee Tech. Okay. And uh yeah, I went there for all four years. Wow. And um what I studied uh, electronics. Okay. And um, you know, it was a it's a tech school, it was a trade mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. So um you you would pick up a trade and I think I bounced around a little bit, but I ended up sticking with electronics. Um, I thought I was going to do a lot of, uh, installing of subwoofers and, you know, people put the, 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 the loud music in the yeah. trunk. I had mine and I was hooking up all my friends and yeah. it was a lot of it I learned right from, uh, a lot of them I learned right from, uh, the school. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. So every student had to pick a, a trade at Tech. Yep. Every student had to pick a trade. Yep. Yep. So you had, you had plumbing, you had, uh, electronics, uh, you had, uh, man, you had, uh, a number. I, I can't even remember everything to be honest, but it was, a, that's the main ones I remember where it was, uh, plumbing and electronics. And I was, I was kind of heavy in, in, uh, both of those fields. So that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. I know, uh, I got a lot of good friends, a lot of bachelor plumbers, uh, that came out of tech and, and just said, yeah. So the, the school, um, you know, the staff, the, the, the actual teachers that they had must have been phenomenal as well. Yeah, it was pretty cool. You know, tech, tech was all around a really good school. Um, but of course it had its bad parts at the same time. But, um, you know, definitely if you, if you, uh, if you was, if you wanted to get in some type of trade heavy, 
type of direction tech was to school. Cause like, like you, I know a few people to this day, um, that stay with they trade and they, and they, they, my, they, my go tools when I need the work done, they steal yeah. my go tools, you know? So no, that's good. Brilliant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, brilliant to find that path right away. So after tech, uh, you know, you're obviously into the tag, you you know, um, you know, had everybody, you know, uh, neighborhood, you know, uh, knocking real loud, you know, <laughs> boom, boom, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, I mean, it's still loud. It's not like it used to be. Everybody had subs back in the right. day. Right. You know? It was the thing back then. That was kind of, yeah, uh, kind of phased yeah. out, but you still have guys that do it, which is, amazing. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So that was cool. And then you, what, what do you do after that? After high school? Uh, yeah, I end up, uh, I end up going to um, uh, UWM, UW Milwaukee, okay. um, and I was there uh, uh, for what close to four and a half years or whatnot, and uh, I studied business administration, okay, um, and had a minor in Spanish. Wow. So, and I, I was, I was, uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to go to college, to be honest. Yeah. Um, and some people encouraged me. And it, it, it probably was good for me because not that, uh, it was necessarily a career path that I was going to take, uh, off of going to college, but I think it helped me, uh, gain what, let's say adult discipline, mm -hmm. you know, so you, you don't necessarily have to go when you, you know, it's free in college, but when you learn how to discipline yourself at those adult years, mm -hmm. then, um, you see how it can be beneficial uh, in, in in various different aspects. So that's right. That's right. Yeah, getting up, going to class. You know, yep. was no was if you don't show up, the professor's not calling your mom. You yep, know, yeah, 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 yeah. They not, they not, they not even. They ain't checking you off absent. None of that. Like you show up, it's just, they don't know if you're there or not when it's time to take them tests. You that's know, that's right. So man, that's yeah. you. so. What did you study at at, at UW? Uh, you know, I was in, uh, business administration and, uh, you know, I, I even, um, man, I, I, I switched my major a few times, yeah. but the way that I end up getting serious and, and, and sticking to it is kind of crazy, but I, I didn't, I absolutely did not need a, uh, uh, tutor for mm -hmm. as many subjects as I had, but I literally went and got a tutor for every single subject. And what that did was it helped with the discipline. So I would have, uh, you know, a, a tutor for math, a, uh, a tutor for business, a, a tutor for <laughs> everything. If I could get a tutor, I would get a tutor. Yeah. And what that did was instead of me, um, you know, when you, you fresh out of school, I had my own apartment. I was living life and I would procrastinate on getting work done. So, and, uh, the tutors were, other students mm -hmm. so it was kind of cool to link with other students and we knocked the work out and you know it was kind of funny sometimes I mean you don't need a tutor but I need somebody to sit here with me and do this so otherwise I ain't gonna do it so it was uh you know I, I kind of took advantage of that and that's how I I, I got as focused I, as I did when we got to school and so man that's brilliant so I mean it, you know it really sounds like uh you know they're gonna hold you accountable you know and, yeah. and uh, having a better you know, understanding of yourself and, and who you are and what you need. You know, that's, that's, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. I, I watched a James Brown movie the other day and, and he said, I know what I want, you know, mm -hmm. and that's the truth. You know what you want. You had a faith. You can get it done, man. Yeah. yeah. So that's exactly. Exactly. Okay. So after college, um, you know, in Milwaukee, what, what happened there? You got your first job, you know, what, or were you working through college? I'm sure, but. What was the transition for like? Uh, yeah, you know, I had, uh, I was working, uh, actually on campus as, uh, uh, what is tech support for okay. computers. Okay. So I was on campus for a while doing that. And then, uh, I ended up getting a job at a company called Metavante okay. at the time. And, uh, that was doing similar stuff, but like three times the pay. Okay. Uh, so I, you know, I ended up leaving. The, the UWM job, which was a super easy, cool job. You sit on the computer all day and don't nobody have any questions. You just surfing the net. We're not. <laughs> um, but then Metavante, you know, you start really learning, uh, online bill paying software and stuff like that. But, uh, man, I ended up leaving Metavante. That was, uh, the, the, 
my my entrance into the entrepreneur world where actually at Medavante was a guy who rehabbed and sold houses. Okay. So he did that on the side and, you know, worked for the company. And uh man, he uh I offer I actually offered him. I said, man, I would come and do some free labor if you teach me what you do. Okay. So uh sure enough, I went and I helped him do siding, helped him do carpeting, helped him do painting. And the whole time he was teaching me different aspects of the business. He would take me down to the courthouse and show me where the foreclosure listings was and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, man, from there, I, you know, I ended up growing to start doing, uh, some wholesale deals and I just got a little cocky and I'm like, man, I'm making my, yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. 20, I'm like 22 yeah. years old doing my thing by that time. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, I, I literally thought I was going to get rich. I'm like, well, I, I don't know where my head, I thought like, oh, this is it. I'm going to get rich. Yeah. And that's without having a full understanding of how entrepreneurship works or how, how business works in right. general. So, um, yeah, I kind of went from Medavante and got into real estate okay. and, uh, man, went through a long struggle with it. Long struggle. You know, I had a, a beautiful entrance. Okay. You, know, you can almost call it beginner's luck. Yeah. And uh um I eventually went through my downhill and 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 I came back swinging, you know. Yeah. Came yeah. back swinging. So but yeah, that's pretty much how it went. It went from uh uh school to Metavante and and then uh you know, my like I said my buddy who's still a friend today. Um he educated me on how to get in the the real estate game yeah. and from there just kind of been floating to different aspects of entrepreneurship. Yeah, man, that's huge. That's huge. Well, so so what are you doing now? You know, where where where's Mr. Toom uh, Jr. now? Uh, well, you know, um, since real estate, I, I I always kept a little foot in it. Um, but uh, I got into educating about credit. I started learning about credit. Um, real estate kind of uh, led me to the field because uh, you know another guy I met through networking in the real estate field was doing a lot of rent to owns. Okay. So, you know, I was having folks, you know, rent homes or whatnot, and they wanted their credit repair. Mm. And uh, I'm going to tell you what happened is that uh, I would I would refer these tenants to different credit repair companies, and uh, they just weren't having the best success. Mm. So, you know, before I was kind of treating it like a number, like, oh, you just go over there and work with him, and they'll take care of it. Then I started really diving in and learning you know, why uh, there was a, a, a lack of success, yes, so to speak, when it came to, it was so many people in rent-to-own programs, but so few of them were becoming homeowners. That's right. And I was learning that uh, the credit repair companies was uh, more motivated off of the sale and making money. So it wasn't necessarily the education of how to uh, not only fix, but uh, uh, manage your credit. So that that's when I started learning, like, man, let me learn how to do this and teach these folks how to literally like this shouldn't be, a, you know, a, a, a scheme or something for somebody to make a quick buck. It should be something where they should have, you know, because the, the especially black culture, we weren't educated uh, nearly uh, as much as uh, uh, other cultures or whatnot when it comes to credit. So I felt I, I start feeling somewhat some some way about it and start really diving into it, and you know got into the credit repair aspect of things and uh, even uh, eventually worked with uh, a, a buddy of mine who uh, owns a realty brokerage and he did all he did both sold houses and fixed credit. So we was at a basketball game one day. And uh Bucks game and I said, Man, how about I let me come run your credit department and you know, you just could sell houses. So you just not is it we sitting at the game. He's sitting there, you know, steady on like, man, you're at the game, you know what I'm saying? And he needed the help. So he taught me how to do how to run his side of the things. And uh man, you know, the it, it kind of grew for me working for him into a partnership where, you know, I grew the brand side of it into something that was um you know it was a need so folks start gravitating to me for just the credit whether they was trying to just buy a house or get a car or whatever the case was and uh you know I, I did the credit repair thing for some time and then after that I just uh 
I got into public speaking. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I wanted to get more in a, on the side of, uh, more educating folks versus, you know, even when I was just doing the credit repair, I was getting a lot of people who, um, would in a sense drop off their credit like a vehicle, like, Hey, let me know when it's fixed, oh, you know, to a mechanic. And I'm like, no, you got, you have to understand what's the, the mechanics behind this right. so that you can have 700 plus credit scores and stay there, right. you know, so. Um, after the public speaking side of things, I just grew into, uh, um, uh, business credit where I, I, I really enjoy teaching business owners how to, uh, build credit on their EIN versus just the social. Okay. So, um, you know, it's, it's been a whole gambit of credit and now I'm at the point where, uh, you know, touched on, I'm, I'm touching on a little of the serial entrepreneurship side of things, you know, so I, I got my hands dabbled in a few things and it really comes from business credit, you know, just having so many different, uh, business credit clients offers get presented to you like, Hey, you have helped me get this money and this business going well. How about you come in? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Hmm, well, let's try it out. You know, and a few of those happened. And now, um, you know, I'm just looking to constantly grow as an entrepreneur and teach other entrepreneurs so they don't deal or uh, go through some of the pain that I went through coming up. You know? So sad, man. That, that, that's that's where I'm at today, man. Yeah, that's a beautiful story, man. I mean, I, I love the fact that throughout all the, you know, stories as you, you know, high school, even, you know, college, you know, you continue to surround yourself around people that, uh naturally you admire them you didn't mind letting them know hey i like what you're doing i want to be a part you know uh and that willingness and that ability to get out and say you know teach me you know what i'm saying i want yeah. to put the effort in i mean that's that's cool i mean is that something that you always had is that something that you picked up from your mom or dad where you know where you think that uh i think i got i got a little of it from my dad i got a little bit of uh from my grandfather i was raised by my grandparents but uh you know my i feel like my my story has always been similar to um you know the book rich dad poor dad okay. and uh uh my my dad was more of the rich dad and my grandfather was more of the poor dad but in actuality my my dad was just the entrepreneur he didn't you know uh fully make it at that time but he just was talking the game that I love to hear and my grandfather was the established cut and dry great career um master's degree uh psychologist you know it was a uh, you know, I, I had a really good combination of folks in my ear. I, I always say my grandfather gave me my discipline and my dad gave me my swag, so to speak. So it's like they both in my ear. I was just, you know, becoming who I became. So, um, but yeah, I, 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 I do, uh, uh, say that it was a large part of their influences that caused me to be where I'm at today. That's you know, what's up. That's what's up. so, and, and I, w I would also add that, um, one, uh, I, I did, I was the type to always try to create my own job. You know, before I really knew about entrepreneurship, um, I would try to create a job. You yeah. know, I, I, I was always the kid who, um, you know, I would take candy to sell at school. Yeah. Um, I would take, uh, I would be the guy going around the block, uh, uh doing grass for seven dollars. You know what I mean? Shoveling snow for seven dollars. That was my thing. Seven dollars. <laughs> we yeah, yeah, we yeah. was at it for seven dollars. Yeah. So uh you know I, I I've always been that type and um just having the folks I had around me uh helped me to to become where I'm at today. So that's what's up. That's what's up. And then what's what's in what's in the future for for, for Mr. Toombs, you know, and what what do we what should we expect? Man, you know, uh, I, I tell you this, there's, there's been some life changing things that happened to me, uh, in 2020 alone, you know, in 2020, in just 2020, I got married and had my second son. Uh, now I got a family of five. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to be a great father, um, and lead my kids in the right direction, be a, a, a great husband, you know, uh, happy wife, happy life. And at si simultaneously, man, I'm going hard with my businesses. Um, I'm teaching my children entrepreneurship at a young age. Uh, my son, he's already working on a little brand of his for uh, some T-shirts. Mm 
okay. as well as uh, he loves electronics. So getting them involved with learning computers and uh, coding at a young age um, and being there for his sports. Um, as well as my daughter, she loves skateboarding. So, you know, that's very rare to take her to the skateboard park. You know, we the only only one that looked like us when we there, you know, and I, I, I love that. She loves that. Um, and, uh, uh, but otherwise I'm, I'm trying to grow my business. Uh, well, I am growing my business. We, we, we have, uh, you know, I'm, I, I did record numbers for business credit clients, uh, within the past year. Um, uh, my system has, has become automated where now I have clients throughout with close to 10 states. Um, and now, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going hard with this virtual aspect things where, you know, a lot of folks not, don't have uh, uh, offices or can't meet at Starbucks as they typically do. They're looking for virtual mail. They're looking for virtual uh, meeting rooms, things of that sort. Uh, so I've been diving pretty heavily into that. Um, and and my wife, she's an entrepreneur. So, you know, she's in the childcare business and she has her hands. She's also an esthetician. So, you know, I, I do my best with helping her grow her business. So, you know, I got, I got a thing, uh, I heard Will Smith actually say it was in a it was in a rap and it's like you quote Will Smith from a rap really yeah. yes from a rap sure. Will Smith says he said my kids sit at the table and y'all he said y'all kids sit at the table and talk about what you learned yeah. my kids sit at the table and talk about what they earned yeah, and right. that's just so yeah. deep for me I'm like man that was that's hot so yeah. but yeah that that's that's where I'm at man I'm just trying to grow and be a better man you know uh, we all have our our backstories of being out here. So I'm just, uh, you know, just being a, being a good, uh, a, a good role model for my kids and, and continue to grow, man. That's what I'm doing. Man, well, well uh, congratulations on all your much success. Uh, you know, we, we are, are very thankful and I'm sure that the young people that get a chance to see this are going to be ecstatic about uh, the information that you share. Some of them probably go to tech or have gone to tech. Uh, and, you know, I hope that you can be, I know that you're going to be an inspiration for, for some of these young people. If some of these young people are, are, uh, you know, interested in possibly following your path or, you know, we got a couple of kids that are in earn and learn or like, Hey, I want to go work for, you know, Bill Tones, um, you know, uh, on, on, on the dot, on the dollar of, of, of the state, you know, how can they get in contact with you? Is there Instagram? Man, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, my, my, uh, I can definitely be found on Facebook. Okay. Uh, Facebook is uh, B. Lawrence. You know, you can do that. You'll see me pop up. Lawrence is L U R A N T Z. Same thing with uh, Instagram, uh, B as in boy. Lawrence, L U R A N T Z. Okay. And uh, the reason for the Lawrence, Lawrence is my middle name. And like I said, I'm a junior. Mm -hmm. And sometime uh, my father, my my pops, he had post some corny stuff. I'm like, man, you gotta stop it. I gotta change. I gotta. I can't go by Bill yeah. Tunes Junior and all my social media. You posting this corny stuff, and people yeah. are like, Bill, Bill, I see you posting. I'm like, that's not me. That's my dad, man. Yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. So, but yeah, B, B. Lawrence, any any uh, especially uh, youth. I love youth. Uh, as I mentioned to you, I'm 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 going hard with uh, uh getting my kids involved with basketball, with sports, and uh, teaching entrepreneurship, man. Any way I can help you out, Pep Nation, I'm a hundred percent there for you, brother. You just reach, you just let me know, man. man. Well, we we definitely appreciate it. We know you're doing well. You know, uh, all checks can be made out directly to Pep Nation. They don't come to me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, man, we, we really appreciate this. And, and this right here is gold and, and worth millions. So uh, God bless you and your family and much success to you, my friend. Man, appreciate you. Thanks for the time. All right. I oh, appreciate you, brother.